Carrie is working. Carrie is working her way up to being a VIP mod because she keeps me like posted on things like things that I need to know. So when I went live yesterday and I was talking about keeping Juno in our prayers, you know, hey, to make um, she was like, well, you know, he made a post that kept getting deleted or whatever about, you know, some issues that he was going through. So Facebook keeps deleting my post and I don't have the energy to keep reposting it. So it's done from here and time to move forward with my life. Who needed to see it, seen it. And I hope it helps who it needs to, because now starts the true healing process for me. Thank you for everyone's love and support and reaching out to me. I'm good and will be good. Just something that needed to be done. Love y'all. Now, first of all, I just want to say that I love when comedians can be serious because people think that comedians have to be funny all the time and that comedians don't go through anything. So that's just a beautiful thing. Now, let's talk about what was actually said. Now, basically, Juno, a.k.a. Hatermaker, got molested by a man while he was a kid. And second of all, because, you know, I got the first of all out the way. Second of all, I want to commend him on being a man and saying this because a lot of men they cover this up and they think that it makes them weak or people are going to think that they're gay or whatever, especially with him doing his comedy comedic videos on Andrew. I hope Andrew doesn't feel the need to shout out to my homeboy, Derek. Somebody always going to message me while I'm recording it, <laughs> feel the need to joke or, you know, make fun of him and then try to flip the switch and call him gay because you know what? flipped because that is what make people not want to tell you, you see what i'm saying and make people not want because they think they're going to get ridiculed or made fun of so let's just read um some of these comments they can try to delete your post but your truth was still told hopefully you speaking up will help others be able to come forward and get the healing they need also. We love you and will always continue to support you. I'm praying for your peace, healing, and strength, even though you've shown the world just how strong you are. Exactly, Crystal. That's very strong, especially as a man. You know, we got this Me Too movement with the women, women saying something happening to them every day, but you will rarely see a man. Y'all remember Antoine Fisher and that movie where the young man was being molested by the, the woman? And stuff like that. It was even hard for him to come out to say that he was being messed with by a woman. But it's even more hard for men to say that. So I I actually see him as more of a man to admit this when some people will look down and say, Oh, you know, man. We love you. I pray everything gets better for you. Stay positive, stay motivated, stay you. We will always be here for you. Facts. Also, Facebook, this is this is number three. Why would you keep taking his post down, but you'll leave posts up of these thoughts of mellow begging and scamming and stanking? You'll do all that. But when somebody's trying to help somebody heal from things that are going on every day and being swept under the rug, you want to delete that. That's just a question. A pregunta. Love you, sweetie. Sometimes some things just have to be said and done keep being the amazing person that you are and god did not bring you this far to leave you now Mm -hmm. nothing but up from this point now it's your time to heal and transition into the next phase of your journey you've done amazing things and the most high has even greater things for you to accomplish you've got an army of people and supporters behind you Prayers for your continued healing and strength to move forward. Mm -hmm. So, see, look at this. You know what's crazy? I've been dealing with something like this, of this magnitude, for years. I've only 
told a select few, but never really had the heart to confront the person. Every time I get close to doing it, I close up because, well, I don't know why. And it's hell for real because I love this person. Like I said, it's almost a replica of what you had to endure to a T. Guess out of sight, out of mind. Okay, anyway, thank you for speaking your truth. And although I'm still afraid to speak mine for now you may have given someone else the courage to speak theirs and you know what's crazy shout out to this young lady what's crazy is that we'll be afraid to confront them as if they don't know what they did now they should have the courage to confront us right first of all they should never do that to us in the first place but they should have the courage to confront us and apologize or admit that they were wrong or whatever the case may be. But you have people, a lot of people out of ignorance and out of spite that will make fun of people. I just want to reiterate that they will make fun of people that go through this or they'll even explain use it as a way to expose people if they fall out with them and all the different stuff and then that is why we have things like this going on more people become victims because people are too afraid to tell you are continuing the cycle of abuse when you make fun of someone that's been abused when you expose someone that told you something in confidence i'm just <sighs> We got to do better as a people. When I say as a people, I mean human beings of all colors, races, nationalities, all that. So, I'm done preaching. It's your girl at Tiffany M. Draper. Please keep Hater Maker in your prayers. But you know what? Hater Maker is his entertainer's name, right? That's his brand. Let's keep Juno in our prayers. It's your girl Tiffany M. Draper. I'm out.